Welcome to Simple Scotch Reviews. Today we have Buna Haban 18. It's an 18 year old single malt scotch whiskey from the Isla region, bottled at 46.3% ABV. It is non chill filtered and natural color. I like their bottles, they are kind of unique just in the shape and look, but uh, let's get to the scotch. There is something very unique about Buna Haben when, when I smell it, it's just like, yep, that's Buna Haben. Uh, on the nose, I get lots of sherry fruit. The sherry influence is very apparent. Some of the coastal, or what I would call a coastal, the briny influence of the 12, I definitely don't get as much in the 18, but I'm assuming that's probably due to the uh, larger sherry influence I get from the 18, so I think that probably just covers that up a bit. In addition to those sherry fruits, I get a little bit of dark chocolate, quite a bit of baking spice notes, like your cinnamon, maybe a clove, maybe a nutmeg. Nothing really specific, but it is a baking spice note to me. Caramel note. I do get a, there's a note of something else in there. In my notes before I had written that it was like, it's almost a, it's a musty note. It's almost like a leathery note, but it's very, very subdued. I get leather in some whiskeys, especially in Lagavulin 16. This is nothing like that amount of leather. It's a very subtle note in the background. I do almost get a nutty quality in Bunahaban. And for those of you reading, if you've got your Bunahaban with you, I would say that Bunahaban 18 is one of the most spot on bottles for tasting notes on their packaging that I've ever seen. I was writing my tasting notes and then I compared with here and it almost looked like I had written them off of here because it's dried fruit, honeyed nuts, toffee, and spice. Like the notes on there are very good. Some, some whiskeys, it's like, I'm not getting at all what they're putting on their packaging, but in this one, I think they're pretty spot on. There's definitely, on the palate, an initial burst of flavor. Right away, I get those thick, rich, candied sherry fruits. Like raisin, plum, just those rich fruits. Candied, because they're very sweet. But then this whiskey, I like how it's got multiple layers. That initial thick fruit layer goes and fades towards a spicy oaky layer. I like that transition a lot. Not every whiskey's got it the same way that this Buna Haben makes this transition. So after those initial sherry fruits up front, I get a little bit of charred oak almost, just a tiny bit that I get in there. But then it comes to uh, spices, just those baking spices I mentioned before. I'm not getting a specific one. Sometimes I'll get like cinnamon or I'll specifically get allspice, like in that Akintoshin I reviewed before. But this one, it's not a specific baking spice note. It's just, it reminds me of baking spice in general. Um, this one, when you go to the finish, it's a longer finish. I'd say it's on the longer side. I don't, it sticks with you. It doesn't instantly fade like some whiskeys. Um, you can almost get a hint of that leather note if you search on the palette. But aside from that, nothing new really shows up. Yeah, if you're searching for it, you can kind of get that leather note on the palette. Nothing really new shows up in the finish. Sometimes whiskeys will throw a curveball at you. I do get a Hint of vanilla, I don't get that so much in the palate that comes in at the end for me, but hands down, this is just a solid whiskey. Unfortunately, it's not distributed everywhere. Not every state in the United States can you find Buna Haben. In my state, you can't even find Buna Haben. I have to get it when I'm traveling. Um, overall, 
This is an absolute must try. It's one of my favorite whiskeys. Buna Haben 12 and 18 are both great whiskeys, but this one's definitely, I feel in a category of its own. It's got some differences from the 12. I prefer this one, but the 12 is also stunning. It's great, but it's a must try for anyone because you get to experience those Isla flavors without the heavy smoke and peat that you're used to in Isla. So it's a very great experience. I think it's great for people who are earlier on in scotch. Well, it's great for anyone, but it's great for those that are early on in scotch and know that they don't like peat because I think you'll like this whiskey and it's going to give you a different part of the flavor spectrum that you may not have had before because you don't like the peated whiskeys. It's going to bring in some of those other interesting flavors without throwing the smoke at you. So definitely a must try. You, if you like peated whiskey, I know plenty of people that love peated whiskey and love Buna Haban 18. I think it's a solid choice and I think anyone would be happy to have a bottle. I've had a little bit of difficulty finding it even when I'm traveling. I know some places have it more than others. Buna Haban 12 is pretty easy to find, but sometimes the 18 can a little, a little bit more tricky to find. But overall, solid whiskey. If you have an opportunity to get one, definitely get it. I don't think you'll be disappointed in the slightest. And thanks for watching.